the experience and the knowledge that I have, I'm able to say that I saw a lot of gang members, very, very young gang members that are trying to come into this country. Look, I'm not going to knock this lady. You know, she says she works with inmates, former inmates, you know, people who've struggled and had issues with the law. And I can respect that. I do take issue with her saying she saw people trying to enter the country at a point of entry who looked like gang members. You know, maybe she works with gang members here in the U.S., but how is she identifying these gang members? Or is she just stoking more fear like a lot of these far-right conservatives seem to, seem to keep doing? Claiming everybody's a terrorist and seems ridiculous to me. What I got from that video, unlike the people in her comments who are just riddled with fear, was that she was stereotyping people, that she was racially profiling people. That people like this who have very little understanding of how the process works or how the border works or how just immigration in general works that continue to stoke fear using a lot of conspiracy theories and a lot of weird stuff just because they're riddled with fear. But pay attention to these far right fuck sticks with GoPros at the border. They interview people they think are Middle Eastern and then everybody in their comments is like, oh, something bad's going to happen soon, blah, blah, blah. And there's no basis. They have no reason to think that. There's no evidence to suggest that. There's no evidence from any intelligence agency in this country that says there are terrorists coming across the border. Y'all know I've debunked this like a dozen times. So just pay attention to stuff like this because that's where all the hate and fear is coming from.